Welcome to IntelliPath YouTube channel. In today's video, we will be learning about Python iterators. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. The agenda for today's tutorial is the following topics. First, we're gonna be taking a look at prerequisites that are required for uh, to learn about iterators. And then we'll be taking a look at the definition for an iterator. And then we'll move on to an example to better understand this definition. Finally, we're gonna be taking a look at the use case and in which scenarios iterators are used. Now, moving on to the first topic, prerequisites. We have to know the following prerequisites in order to learn about iterators. The first is it, the definition of an iteration. In general terms, the definition of an iteration is the repetition of a process or an utterance. In programming, iteration means repetition of a block of code, iterables. An object in Python that includes zero, one or many elements is called an iterable. It has the ability to return its elements one at a time. Some of the examples for iterables are string, list, tuple, a dictionary, the range of function and many more. Now moving on to definition, an iterator in Python is simply an object that can be iterated upon. An object which will return data one element at a time. To get an iterator from an iterable, you have to use the iter function. Once you have the iterator, you can get the next element from the iterable using the next function. So we for in order to use an iterator, we have to will be using two functions everywhere that is iter and the next and i'll be illustrating this in the example in the upcoming slides and the final uh, point to look at is the statefulness iterator is stateful it means once you consume an element from an iterator it is gone in other words once you complete looping over an iterator the iterator becomes empty if you iterate over it again it will it will return nothing that means the iterator is now empty this will be illustrated in the example in the upcoming slides now moving on to example here I have uh, declared a list named colors which contains three elements red yellow and blue now I'm gonna be using the first function that is used uh, in an iterator that is iter now iter of function returns an iterator and uh, I'm I am holding this iterator in a variable called colors underscore iter in the next statement I'm using the next function on the iterator that is colors underscore iter when I use the next function on an iterator it returns the element it returns the next element so I'm printing this out so when I save it and run it it returns red that is the first element in the list and note that list is an iterable as I've mentioned in the previous slides now if I use the next function again and let me just save it and run it when I use the next function again it will return red and yellow so it returns the next element that is yellow in the list and uh, similarly if I uh, run it again it has to return blue right let us just check it so yeah now uh, the output is red yellow and blue that means it has written all the elements in the list colors now note that I in the note that I have mentioned in the definition of uh, the iterator that uh, iterators are stateful that means it holds states and once it has completed the looping over all the elements it cannot it ha it will be empty and it cannot return any, any element so this can be shown like this let's say the iterator has iterated through all of its element and and I try to use the next function on it again let me just save it and run it if I run it again it returns an error and uh, the error is stop iteration it means that there is no elements left inside the iterator in order to solve this I can just put it under try and accept block just like this accept and we are accepting a we're catching the stop iteration exception so I'm just going to copy and paste it here so if I get a stop iteration exception I'll just be printing uh, no more elements no more elements and if I just save it and run it so this statement will print red and uh, the next will print yellow and this finally this statement will print blue now the iterator has zero elements that is it has nothing to uh, give out when we use the next function on it so when I finally uh, execute this statement 
so it will return an exception that is this stop iteration exception and uh, this block of code will catch the exception and print no more elements now you must be wondering why i have used the try and accept block uh, this will be useful in the next example i show now moving on to use case iterators are everywhere in python they just hide they are just hiding in plain sight they are elegantly implemented within for loops comprehensions generators etc but are it hidden in plain sight now this says uh, iterators are used in for loops comprehensions and generators now i will be showing you how for loop works and how they are implemented using iterators here as in the previous example uh similarly i have uh, defined a list which is an iterable and it is a simple list uh, containing colors uh, three elements which is red yellow and blue uh, let me just comment this out and if i use for loop uh, to iterate over this to traverse over the list uh, it should work like this for every element in colors print the element so if i save it and uh, run it so it will iterate over each and every element that is red yellow and blue and uh, it is shown in the output so let me just comment out the for loop and uh, this block of code is used instead of for loop that is this is what how for loop works behind the scenes yeah let me just show how it works for you. let me just explain it to you first we have used the iter function on the list uh, on the iterable that is colors and now we are st uh, this will return an iterable and we are storing this iterable in the variable colors underscore iter and we are uh, defining a infinite while loop and inside that we are print we are using the next function on the iterable that is it just prints out the next element and i'm printing it out and i have put it under a try block and i'm expecting an exception called stop iteration that is uh, the while loop this is an infinite while loop so i have implemented a infinite while loop so it will keep on uh, calling this uh, infinitely but we don't have infinite elements in the iterable that is colors uh, which is a list it has only three elements so after uh, this statement running three times it will throw an exception called as stop iteration and when we encounter this or when this block catches the exception i am breaking uh, out of the loop so let uh, let me just uh, show you how it works i'm saving it and uh, running it so yeah red yellow and blue so summing this up i'm uh, using the next function three times and uh, when this statement uh, runs for the fourth time and uh, there is no fourth element on the list and it will catch the stop iteration exception and it will break out of the loop so hence uh, we are printing red yellow and blue for more tutorials like this you can visit our youtube channel and for uh, technical blogs you can visit www.intellipad.com/blog for uh, blogs on uh, topics like cloud computing devops and data science if you want to make a career in data science then IntelliPath has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.